Hey guys, my name is Kimardi, welcome back to more Let's Play, Lord of Spirit Tracks. So, last episode, we got here to the Fire Temple, and dealt with three, like, flying elephants, I don't even know what they were. Um, we got to the Fire Temple, and at this episode, we were obviously gonna go through it. Um, now I do have to mention that this is actually a second attempt at this recording. First attempt at this recording, I actually had two guests with me, my good friend Will, my good friend Josh, Hawkery, and Nintendo Black Crisis, you know, by the screen names. And we recorded the video for 40, it was a 40 minute video, I'm rounding up a little bit, but we recorded a 40 minute video, it took 15 minutes to set it up, and literally in the last 30 seconds of the recording, my computer, my laptop that records my video crashed, and um, corrupted my file, so I'm having to re-record this alone, and there was no way I'm, I was going to waste another 40 minutes of their lives, so... It sucks. I mean, but you know, you really can't do anything about it. I mean, I don't even know. I don't. I still don't even know why my laptop shut down. I mean, like it was plugged in. Um, I maybe like Windows decided it needed an update it was gonna force me to shut down because it does that sometimes. But it didn't even notify me about. It, so I mean, I have no idea. Um, once you go in here, it's like a little battle room, I guess you could call it. Fastest way to kill these guys is just spam them with bombs. One bomb kills them instantly, super quick, and um, it's very stress free. So, I don't know how the commentary will be in this dungeon. Um, I was expecting this dungeon to be longer than, I, than it actually is. I can complete this dungeon in about 25-30 minutes. Well, with the boss, actually about 35 minutes. Um, and this dungeon doesn't take me as long. It actually, it's, it really doesn't take me long at all. Um, but, and the reason why I had good commentators was because I thought it was going to be long and the commentary was going to drag on. So... But it actually didn't end up dragging on, it wasn't too long, <clears throat> and I barely even got a word in, so I guess it was good that we had to re-record, but I hate that I had to, uh, you know, waste your time, so it really, really, really sucks. <clears throat> and it's currently 1.30 a.m. exactly, and I just finished recording, I was going to go off to bed. Nope. <laughs> and now I'm going to be sitting here for about another 30 minutes, I won't go to bed until about 2.30 because I still got to get a shower and brush my teeth, and then it's just recording. Um, Okay. So I don't even know what she just said, but okay. Um, basically, I, I guess you could call it some minecart. It's like a little... Y you'll see what I mean. Hop in, hop into it, and it'll go across the rail. And it'll deliver us right up here. Now, this mechanic right here, we'll actually see um, later in the dungeon, and even the boss. And there's actually another mechanic to it. To this mechanic. There's a mechanic to the mechanic that we'll see in a moment. We might get the small key. That's the only reason why we came up here, or at least for now. And we're going to continue back on. Should probably think of some things to talk about. What's happened recently? Nothing, because my life is boring. Oh, by the way, um, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but these little switches, it, I mean, it's obviously the floor is different right here. Um, if you walk on the spots, you fall you fall down, and you take some damage. Um, there are some, like, I mean, that's obviously pretty obvious right there, where the spots are. But other places are invisible, and they look just like the normal floor, so you have to watch out for that. <clears throat> but what you're going to want to do... So we have one of the two keys that we need, but I'm not quite done yet. Now that we have the rock pallet, we're going to go right over here. And we're going to want to pull this back. Push it forward. Push it back up. And then push it to deflect the fire. And the, um, this dungeon is really not that long. It's not even tedious like the um, ocean temple is. But there is one I mean, but there is one thing about it, and one thing I actually like a lot. The reason why this is my favorite dungeon in this game is because it has quite a bit of puzzles, actually. That's one thing that I really, really like about it, that it has so many puzzles. Um, and it doesn't have a ton, but it has the most out of this entire game, I would think. Well, maybe the next one, I don't know. Um, but like I said, there the traps are invisible, and you can swing your sword over to kind of tell where they are. Unless you're watching my guide, of course, you know, my let's play, but, I mean, if you're hearing this, you're obviously watching, or listening, or whatever. We get that, you get a big green rupee, and there are some, not really hidden, but there are some treasure chests throughout here, so we'll be getting all those, because, as you guys know, I always do 100%. I just, I, I really don't have to say, like, I kind of burn out all my commentary in my first attempt. It really, really sucks the way it happened, too. <laughs> anyway, hit both the switches, and it'll take you over here. And that, that is a mechanic, that's a mechanic, the mechanic I was talking earlier, is that we'll get switches, and every time you get a switch, it changes your path. That path is cru- I mean, that mechanic right there is crucial in the room before the boss room. And it actually, it's actually plays into a little bit of a complicated puzzle. It's not too complicated. It's complicated if it's your first time, but if you've gone through this game a few times like I have, it's actually quite easy. Um, 
Oh, we don't have the item. <laughs> I'm like, oh, wait, wait, where's the blank blank? Which I'm not going to spoil it, but I'm like, wait, where's the blank? Like, which is item of the dungeon? I'm like, oh, wait, we haven't gotten it yet. Oops. <clears throat> but um, if you go back around and one more time, there actually is a treasure that we can get. What you want to do is hit the first switch and leave the second one completely alone, and it'll take you down here. I guess it was kind of good that I was able to re record this as well, and because I made a few mistakes the first time recording this, and the video ended up being a little bit like 36 minutes long. It, this one probably ended up being about 30, um, because I won't make the same mistakes. I mean, like it wasn't really mistakes that cost me a lot. It just made the video drag on just a little bit more. But now that we have both keys, so you want to head right up here, take this little shortcut right here, up to the left, and use both of them on these doors right here. And the doors will be two little switches. Okay. Now, what should I, like, seriously, what should I talk about? It's Friday night, and, you know, I have nothing else better to do on Friday nights and record. You know, loner life. Um. Let's get over here. You're gonna want to get your boomerang. Hopefully, this fire piece will leave you alone, as people won't leave me alone. And actually, you can't take out the sword, you have to use a boomerang, which is super annoying. I hate fire keys. Especially in this game. But there are worse other games. Um. Use the boomerang to take out to take out both of the switches, and time to take down the door. Then proceed forward. <coughs> Go right up here and mini boss. Do do do. There aren't that many mini bosses in dungeons in this game. There was one in the last one, the ocean one. Was there one? In the I don't think so. I think uh, there's only. I think uh, the ocean temple had some. Had a mini boss, and this one does as well, and the next one does, but I don't think anything besides that. Anyway, so what you want to do? It's, it's this huge turtle. Swat the turtle! No, he's gonna turn in and get into his shell, and he's gonna roll after you with flames. What you're gonna want to do is when he does this, you're gonna want to lead him to the electric spikes going along the wall. Or if you're having really bad luck like me, it's actually kind of hard to do so. But if you swat at him, he'll actually go back into his shell, and he will do this attack at you. Make him hit the electric guys along the wall. He will be vulnerable. And just slice at his head. Um, it's actually quite an easy mechanic. This is this mini boss is actually quite repetitive. I might get him to go into the little I don't know what you call them, electric spice boss. I have no idea. They were Phantom Hourglass too, I'm pretty sure. I mean I played a little bit of Phantom Hourglass, just first two dungeons didn't excite me that much and that's kind of where I stopped. I really need to give it another go though. Because I have I bashed on it a little bit in this let's play and I do Probably I do regret that because I don't like to do that unless I've fully played a game through. Um, so I probably shouldn't have done that, but I mean I'm sure it's a good game. I'm sure it is. I just need to give another try, and maybe I just had a bad view of it the first time I played. But once you do that, we get the bone arrow, which is item of the dungeon, um, and probably I think has the best controls out of any of the items in this game. I like it a lot because um, I mean I don't know. I mean. I feel like the touch controls worked really, really well with it, and also, I point I point this out many, many, many times, using your R and L buttons really, really, really help in getting, with, with getting out items quickly, and it also, and that helps a lot when you're, you know, when you need to get out a certain item really quickly, like, um, maybe in the, um, boss of the dungeon, which, it's not, the boss of the dungeon is actually kind of easy, it's easy, but I like it a lot, this, this, but, uh, yeah, I can't even talk today, this dungeon has my favorite boss of the entire game. Which, I don't know why I dirt right there, but I got each bow and arrows. And I call this an arrow redirector, probably not the official term. But, shoot it at the arrow redirector. We'll shoot it to another one, and then it'll shoot in the eye. Now, this actually makes up for a few of the puzzles in this dungeon, as you'll see what I mean in a moment. <clears throat> now, over here, claim your treasure chest, and you get a 150 treasure. Which is a dark pearl loot, pirate's necklace, or Ruto crown. Um... Now what you're going to do is actually the this actually looks really really awkward. Not gonna lie, throw is a million feet. <laughs> Make sure it's pointing left. Well, actually up. Excuse me. <clears throat> and if it isn't, and if it's out of reach, obviously just use your boomerang to switch it. I really need things to talk about. Actually, what I do is like actually when I re before I record a long video, I actually and have like a list of literally it's a text document literally titled stuff to talk about and what do i do i write down things i need to talk about or that i should talk about it's like filler commentary i actually just opened that up right now but to do that you're gonna want to grab this 
And actually, if it it's a little bit easier for you, you can swat it with your sword before you do. Make sure it's pointing left. Throw it forward. Or miss like I did. Throw it up there. Shoot at it, and it'll shoot that eye right over there. But I should talk about um, how I've been really inactive lately, and I do apologize for that. Like, these past two weekends, random stuff has popped up. I mentioned this in my last recording. But, like, these past two re weekends, like, just random crap has popped up and kept me from doing videos. Um, but this weekend seems like it's going to be okay, so hopefully that holds true. Um, I will come right down here. We actually have a little bit of a shoot-off. Do, do, do. And actually, you get the first shot, so take them out very quickly, shoot air at them, and um, shortly, like after you hit them the first time, and then their heads are vulnerable, that's when you kill them. Actually, you can take out the first two before the um, other two even attack. Not actually really, really, really easy, but um, I like the concept of, you know, shooting enemies from afar. And um, there are, there's a mini game later that I'll show off, um, that actually kind of, you know, use your bow and arrow a lot. It's a fun game, at least I think. Um, get out sure. I can't even, I can't even think of names. Um, whip. There you go. I mean, I'm so tired right now. Get out your whip, and you have to be very quick about this. Get out your whip. And you want to go across, because when you hit that switch, it actually takes on that lob that you see to our left. So, go right up here. Get out your bombs. You can take these guys out really quickly. I find it funny just how quickly you can take them out. It's kind of insane. And now we have like a little bit of a puzzle, I guess you could call it. When the lava goes up, so do the platforms. You know, like, once you get onto this third platform right over here, this one always stays up. Claim your treasure, and we're going to want to swing to the south, where we can hit a switch and bring down that wall. <laughs> you can already, like, I already know what's going to happen. Like, like you know, what, like, I already know what we're immediately about to do without seeing it first, because I've already played through this, and I had... It was so annoying how that happened, because it was right at the end of the video, too. And, the, and I mean, like, if part of the, if, like, the last few, like, th th like, few 30 seconds of the video got cut out, I'm like, sure, I'm fine, like, I'll deal with that. But the whole entire file is corrupted, so it really, really sucks. Um, make sure you time this well with going between these little ninja stars, I'll call them. I don't even know what they are. Um, and hopefully you won't get knocked into the level like I did. Come right over here, treasure chest. And here's a tiny little puzzle we have right up here. Got your boomerang. And you're wondering, oh, there's a fire post. Hmm, we need to light this fire over here. Kill one of the fire keys, and it'll automatically set your boomerang on fire. And then set fire to the post. I set fire. Oh my god, that was so awful. I set fire to the fire post. Watch them burn as I rubbed my bow. I don't know. I really don't know. That, and, and that voice cracked though. Anyway, the real way to take these guys out and the much quicker way is to take them out with your bow and arrow. Their heads are, are when they have their heads out, you're actually just going to shoot their heads twice. They kill them really, actually really easily. And they drop 20 rupees each, so definitely I recommend picking that up because it's kind of nice to get 20 rupees. Especially when you get a few of them. I'm going a lot faster in this recording than I did last one. And apparently this one didn't drop 20 rupees. Oh, apparently it did. I was just on top of it. <laughs> Okay, and here we are, heart necklace, okay. Now right here we see four signs, by the way, you can restock, restock on arrows over here, which I recommend you do, because we will need some more coming up here. Um, read these three, or these four signs. Aim for the eye, second above. Above, second. Aim for the eye, above, first. Aim for the eye above, fourth, and third. Now, this doesn't make any sense right now, but if you write it down, it actually is important for... Well, actually, it's important for you to know here in a few moments. Um, if you guys see the eyes that are right above it, we're actually going to be taking those out. We have to take it out in the, in the right order. I already have it memorized, so I'm fine, but if you don't, I recommend you write it down or just wait until I get there in this little video. <clears throat> but my voice is actually kind of hoarse, too, because I... Like, it's weird. Like, I can record a long... I can record like a two hour recording, my voice won't be hoarse, but I can't record, not record for about five minutes, then record again, it's just, and it's just really weird. I don't know why I'm like that, but hey. Take out these guys, and I'm gonna talk about things with real life. Um, recently it's actually been really, really, really warm, well, the past two days it's been kind of average for the summer year, which by the way, 
Um, it, we're like mid-March right now, and like spring is right around the corner. I'm so excited because I hate winter. Winter seems like to be the longest season. You, I mean, I, you can say they're all equal, but you can't convince me. In my book, winter is the longest and most long, like dragging on season there is. And I hate it to death. And um, spring starts on the 22nd, so actually a week exactly from when I'm recording this. Um, it's exactly March 15th today. So about a week from right now from when I'm recording this. Um, it will actually be spring. And not these past two days, but the days before. We had like four days in a row where it was like, se like high 70s, almost 80 degrees. And it was so nice because I miss warm weather so much. Um, once you have this little pallet right here, you're going to want to not throw it down, stand on top of it. You actually want to throw it down to the lava post right over there. And get on top of it. And this is actually what you're going to want to do. Oh god. That wasn't even a voice- I don't even know if that was a voice crack. That was more like my throat was just really, really dry. I'm- I hope I remember to take that- edit that out in editing. Because that was actually kind of embarrassing.